Hi everyone, Marguerite here. It is the beginning of a new year and the start of a bunch of collage art assignments. And this year I'm going to be working in my weekly collage weekly planner. Sample or an, an example page looks like this. You have got an assignment down here on the corner and a page to put your uh, collage uh, facing opposite. And for down here in the notes, you can do a couple things with it. You, if you have like an extra piece, an extra um, prompt that you did not use, maybe you could put it in here or you could write a note about how long it took you to do the collage and then check it over the weeks and see if you get faster or, or make actually make a note about if it's easy or if it's difficult. It would be interesting to see if how your collaging changes over the year, uh, if you get more confident in what you're doing. So write a couple notes about uh, how easy or how difficult it is, uh, things like that. You can put that here. If you won't be working in this glue book, there's a couple of options for you. In my Etsy store, I also sell the digital download version of this, um, which is basically this. You just print it out at home, so you can print out the pages individually. Additionally, if you're just interested in the assignments and you want to use your own glue book, I have this printout, which is all 52 uh, assignments for the year and um, I accidentally printed them on both sides which is not something you want to do if you're going to cut them out but this you can also find in my Etsy store I also will be putting out the assignments weekly starting on January 1st and those are on my website marguerite.miller.com they are under the assignments tab up at the navigation menu up top. All right, so let's begin with assignment number one. So here we are, the first assignment of the year. And the assignment says something fast, a postage stamp, a piece of map, a border or frame, a portion or a portion of a brochure, excuse me, and the last is the bonus, which is a form or part of a form. So I have a bunch of pieces. This is a form. This is a form. This is a form. It's actually a receipt, but receipts used to be kinds of forms, so I'll go with that. I have a couple of maps. And I brought a couple of pieces because I wanted to demonstrate um, the how I make choices based on the things that I collect. For something fast, I chose birds because I have birds. And then postage stamps, I brought a couple because I didn't know what color was going to be best. And um, this I have this is a border or a frame. It's kind of a, just a piece, but I couldn't find any anything else that I, I liked as a border or a frame, so I'm going to try this. And I did not use a brochure, a portion of a brochure. Instead, I'm using the bonus piece, so that's what I'm um, swapping in in place of the brochure. So, um, I the thing that stands out to me the most when I'm looking at all these pieces is picture of these birds. So this is what I really like and I want to focus on this image and the other pieces around it are kind of, I'm kind of kind of use them to enhance or to to bring attention to these birds. Okay, so if I'm looking at map pieces for example, these are my two choices. This or this right and um, I like this one because it has that little bit of yellow in it and the yellow kind of adds to this to this bird to these birds okay so I'm gonna stick with this one that's why I'm choosing this over the the blue now for the forms let me move this out of the way 
I've got three choices for the forms. And um, I, I could go with the yellow since I'm already doing yellow here, but now it's starting to be a lot of yellow and I want to keep it more neutral for the background. So I'm going to say no to that. And then my two other options are this one, which is fine, or this one. Okay. And I think I like this one better. I like this one better because, first of all, it's a very thin piece of paper, so it makes a good layer. This one is pretty thick. It's a all heavier cardstock. It's been tea dyed, so it's a little bit wrinkly. So this one's just easier to work with. And then plus this is this is an actual vintage piece from the 1960s. Um, and this is Uline tag that's just been dyed. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. Now, so what do I have left? So, so far I have these three pieces, right? And I don't know quite yet how I'm gonna do them. Next, I have this. Now, this is gonna be some, somehow being a um, border of, of these birds. So it was, now it's just a matter of playing around um, I l would like to hide those, the top and the bottom, so it would be something like that, or maybe something like this. So basically I'm just playing around until I figure out what I like. Maybe up higher. I like this little number to show down here. Okay, so maybe like that. And then lastly, I have multiple colors of postage stamps. The green matches with this background, which is nice. The blue and the black, uh, well, the black goes also here. Um, the assignment says a postage stamp, but the thing is about these um, these points is that you can interpret them however you like. So if I have a postage stamp, it's really, it doesn't stand out enough. It's too, it's too little. It kind of gets lost in the whole thing. So what I could do was embellish it with a piece of washi tape, for example. If I put something across the bottom so, and then had this touch the washi tape, that would be an example of kind of helping this stand out a little bit. But I like the idea of using all three of these stamps in a sequence. That way it brings attention to them, um, which, is, which is kind of what I want, right? So this is how I kind of envision this, okay? So the good thing about collage art, obviously, is that you don't have to glue anything down until you have all your pieces kind of laid out, and then you can, you know, figure out what you like. So I think this is what I'm going to go with. I, If I'm still looking at balance and seeing um, what else I can add, uh, I, I see an empty spot over here, and I see an empty spot over here. Do I could add more things. I could add stickers or, you know, something else, another piece of paper. Um, that's fine as long as you've got your original, you know, five prompts that you followed. Um, you know, add whatever you like. I I have some rubber stamps I brought with me here to show you some choices of rubber stampings that I could use. I like the idea of using something round because I have this round uh, shape here. So looking at these, I could do around here and around here. I could use these squiggles here and around, something like that. The color that I would choose would be red. And I would go with red because I have red in my map right here. And a little bit of red on the chest and on the beak. 
So I have some, some choices of reds here, ladybug red or this rhubarb stalk, that I will choose one of those two and um, put them put them in here and here. So first let me let me get my glue stick and put these down and then I will come back when I'm gonna add uh, the rubber stamping. All right, so here's how I have it uh, down with the glue. And now I have my rubber stamp that I'm just going to put here. So let me show you how I do that. That's what that looks like. And I have one more that I want to put up top. So I'm going to use this one. Okay. Now, is there anything else that I want to add? I could put something in here. I could do something up here. But I think that's going to be it. I think I'm happy with it. The, the other thing that I can do is uh, finish with it today, close the book, and then come back to it in another couple of hours or the next day and see if there's anything else I want to add. Sometimes I do that too and and I um, I like when I, I see things differently after a little bit of time. So anyway, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching.